get a drink? No. So, Mr. Wolf, may I call you Wolf? You can call me Sheila. I like long walks and fresh flowers. Quit playing around, Wolf. You're looking at three to five in an old shoe with no windows. So start singing. Your face looks familiar. I get around the forest. What do you do for a living, Mr. Wolf? I'm a shepherd. Hey. You might as well confess. I told them everything. Could you keep her away from me, please? I remember you. Three years ago on the Stiltskin case, you were snooping around for a lead on his real name. That was close, too. I was going to go with Greg. Greg Stiltskin. Hey, uh, wait a minute, Flippers. You saying this guy's a cop? Or worse, he's a reporter. A what? And I've got the real story. <laughs> I'm an investigative journalist. You've probably read my column, Facts and Fairy Tales. I spent the last six months undercover investigating the so-called Goody Bandit. As more recipes go missing, the trail has gotten hotter. Huh? <laughs> and I'm talking hot coffee. Hot coffee. All over my neck. Very, very painful. You know, people think a health board examiner doesn't lead a dangerous life, but I will tell you, my furry friend, food is dangerous. So, that's why Kenny told me to come down here and take a look. Who? Your boss, Kenny. You mean Earl? Well, that's what Earl said. He said, uh, Kenny, hey, come down here, and so, uh, here I am. I'm surprised your dessert counter hasn't been hit with all the thievery going around. What, what did you say your name was? Shaw, Rick Shaw, I'm in from Japan. Well, Kenny, I'm going to give you a clean bill of health, but I'm going to need the names of all your suppliers. You'll have to talk to Earl. Well, that's Earl right now. Probably called the FDA. You keep that thing groomed, and watch out for hot coffee. Painful. No desserts. Wasted time. The little delivery girl in the red hood. Always on the go. More goodies pass through her hands than anyone's in the whole forest. She seemed happy. A little too happy, perhaps. Oh, creepy. I was starting to have my suspicions. Question, who does she move the goodies for? Where they come from? Where are they going? And why the hood? Twitchy, <laughs> ah! you scared me. Hey, Clark, I called a page. I uh, beat you on your beeper. You get my beat? Twitchy, you gotta calm down. I got a Burnley and I got the gear. I was watching the girl like you told me to, the girl in the red hood. Yeah, the girl in the red hood. Did you see where she went? She went past the porcupines and the red bird tree and the guy with the long beard, and now she's up the creek and she sings everywhere she goes. She's like, la, 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 la. Yeah, yeah, I'm way ahead of you. Look, we gotta find out who she's working for. You got the camera. I got the 220 X and the photograph with the autofocus. Oh, look at that. Come with a 500 millimeter lens, a little color, or a black and white. Doesn't matter. I brought a flash. Uh, you put that away. It's covert, no flash. Undercover, got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody sees, nobody knows. Click, click. <laughs> you ever thought about decaffeinated coffee? Drink coffee. Mm. 